Right, welcome to day seven of the ICT Games uh, Daily Dollop of Maths. Um, uh, please make sure you're sat with an adult. Uh, please have a piece of paper and a pencil ready. Uh, and please definitely call out your answers. Definitely join in. Um, uh, push yourself and uh, don't worry about your mistakes. We love our mistakes. Okay, here we go. So uh, I've got my number line here. Okay, uh, I'm going to let's have a look. I'm going to choose a number. Okay, you guys have a look at that. What number would that be? Read the scale. What would it be? Can count on from here if you want or you can think that this is 25 and go one less yes yeah, 24 okay close uh, so let's try another one okay there's 30 what would this number be yeah three less than 40 three and seven made in heaven must be 37 okay close uh, i keep saying close your eyes you don't need to close your eyes uh, okay what's that one Yeah, oh sorry, press the wrong thing, 32. Right, let's count on from 32. Everyone join in. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. Right, let's go backwards now. We're going we're gonna to start at 51 and go backwards in ones. 51, 50. 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44. Okay, I'm just going to stop it there a minute. We're at 44. You've got to try and get the, this number, keep up with this, what this number is going to be. So we're on 44. So we're currently on 44. 44. Okay, what number will we be on now? Yeah, 39. Okay, we're at 39, going backwards in ones. So here we are, we're at 39, 39. Right, what number are we on now? Yeah, 28, fantastic, good job guys. Okay, right, so I've made a number here with my hundreds, tens and ones. Um, I'd like you to write it down on your piece of paper. What number have I made there? It's got 100. It's got four tens and it's got three ones. Ready, here it comes. Three, two, one. One hundred and forty-three. The three means three units. The four means forty, four tens. The one digit means one hundred. Okay, close your eyes for me a minute. Don't look, don't peep. Close your eyes. Actually, you don't really need to put close your eyes because I can just make the number. Have a look. Okay. Okay, right guys, write that number down for me. What number have I made there? So it's got three hundreds, it's got two tens, and it's got six ones. Okay, I'm not going to say it. You see if you can say that number with, with, without me saying it. Yeah, that's right, 326. 326, the six means six ones. The two, two digit means 20, two tens. The three, the, the three digit means three hundreds. Okay, all right, okay, send it off again. Okay. <laughs> That's a tricky one. Okay, have a look, what could that one be? Write that one down on your piece of paper. Okay, let's, I'm just going to count the hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400. It's got five hundreds. It's got zero tens. This is the thing that's going to catch us out. Zero tens and six ones. Don't forget we need a placeholder for that. Look here. Zero tens. Okay, now let's push it to the next level. Can anybody read that number? Five hundred and six five hundred and six fantastic okay that was a tricky one try another one okay there's your next one have a go at that one for me can you write that number for me okay it's got two hundreds it's got one ten and it's got eight ones Two hundred and oh, you feel like saying one T, don't you? Yeah, ready? Have you written it down? Here we go. 
Now, can you say that number? Quite a tricky one. Teens are mean. 218. You say that as one number there. 218. Okay, so the two means 200. What does the one digit mean? 110. What does the eight digit mean? Eight ones. Fantastic. Okay, this is counting caterpillar. We're going to be putting numbers in the correct order. Okay, so we need to arrange these leaf buds on the branch. So uh, let's have a look. Hmm. I think I might start by looking for which is the largest number. Which is the largest number there? Who has the most? There's some hundreds here. So who has the most hundreds? Well, that one's got 100 and that one's got 100. So it could be either of those. So now look at 115 and 103. Which one's got the most tens? Well, that one's got no tens. That one's got one ten. So it mu this one must be larger. So that one's larger. Can you say that number? Yes, yeah, 115. So what's left of which is the l largest number that's left? Yeah. What's this? Can you say that number? I know I said it already. Can you say it? Yeah, 103. Okay. Now. Hmm, I think I'm going to go for the smallest one now, which is the smallest number. Let's look, use the place value to help us. That's got four tens, that's got eight tens, that's got seven tens. Yeah, it's 48. Okay, which is the lowest number between these two? You say it out loud, which one's lower? Yeah, 76. Okay, put those on, let's check. Ooh. Can they, we've got a little book, we can't know if you can read it, it says butterfly. Butterfly. I've forgotten what it says now. Can't quite read it. Okay, right. Fantastic. So let's have a go at another one. So I think again we'll go for the largest number. Which is the largest number there? Well, these two are pretty big, aren't they? Can you say that number? Yes, yeah, 105. Can you say this number? Yes, yeah, 110. So We've got to choose between these. We're going to choose which one's going to be the largest number to go up there. This one's got no tens. This one's got one ten. So this one must be worth more than this one. So, so the value of that one's higher. So that's the highest number. Now what's left? We'll probably put our next number here, the largest number that's left. Which one of these is greatest, has the most? Yeah, this one's got hundreds, so it's got to be the biggest of what's left. Let's go for the lowest now. Which is the lowest number? Let's look at the tens first. That's got five tens. That's got seven tens. That's got five tens. Oh, I'm stuck now. They've both got five tens. Oh, ah, look at the ones now. Eight ones and four ones. So it's got to be this one. This is the lowest number. Okay, and then that just leaves you with the two, two numbers. So this one's got five tens. That's got seven tens. Which is lowest? Yeah, this one. comes out of his little sleeping bag. <laughs> Super job. Right, okay, we're going to have a practice our, our bonds of 10 rhyme now. Okay, now please do do the actions uh, uh, if you'd like to, that'd be super. I'm doing them, you just can't see me. Uh, so now I'm doing my superhero thing. I've got one hand on my side and one half in the air. Uh, my turn. 10 and 0, you're a hero. Your turn. Right, I've put one thumb up now. 1 and 9, feeling fine. My turn. I've got two thumbs up now. Two and eight, feeling great. Your turn. Right, now I'm making a little loop, around, like a little halo around my head. Three and seven, made in heaven. My turn. Four and six, let's do some tricks. Your turn. Five and five, let's do a jive. Right, uh, let's do it again. Ten and zero, you're a hero. Your turn. One and nine, feeling fine. Your turn. Two and eight, feeling great. Three and seven, made in heaven. Four and six, let's do some tricks. Five and five, let's do a jive. Super job, guys. Okay, now we're going to use those skills now because we're going to add two. These are ten frames. Um, you've seen these at school before. Um, we're going to add two single digit numbers together. Um, uh, oh, I'm giving something away. Who let me be a teacher? Uh, right, okay, so ha 
what math story can you write? Can you write a, a number sentence on your piece of paper for what we've got there? I'll tell you we've got eight here. We've got three here. Yeah, so eight add three. Now, okay, we're going to do eight add three. Now, obviously, I could just drag it straight across um, immediately, but it's a skill to be able to use your bonds of ten um, to help with your addition. What did you add to eight to make ten? Mm, and eight feeling great. Yeah, two, two and eight feeling great. Now, if, now I need to think in my mind, how would I split three into two and something? Two and one. So I can split that, put two over there. It leaves one here. This is now complete. We've got this. The value of this is ten. Ten and one make. 11 fantastic so 8 add 3 is 11 okay let's try another one so oh again we've got 8 add another number can you write the math story the math sentence on your piece of paper 8 add 4 that's oh sorry oh dear I'm rubbish 8 add 4 right now using your bonds of 10 what do you add to 8 to make 10 and 8 feeling great yeah 2 and 8 right now you're going to break up that four into two and something else. Two and two and two. Fantastic. So if you use two of them, it leaves two. So this is a complete ten now. So ten add two is fantastic. So eight add four is twelve. Okay. Last one. We haven't got eight this time. We've got seven. And then here we've got five. So can you write the math story, the math sentence? Write it down for me. OK. We've got 7 add 5. What do you add to 7 to make 10? And 7 made in heaven. Yeah, 3. Now we've got 5 here. So one of your number facts that you need to know is the ways of making 5. If, you've got, if you're going to use 3, what's going to be left? Yeah, there's going to be two left, isn't there? Whoops, I just lost one, I think. Maybe I just lost one. I've got that there. There we go. So we've got a full ten there and two more. Ten and two is... That's right, twelve. Okay, good job, guys. Good job. Okay, let's just switch off our, our hand. Now, we've been doing this quite a few times recently. We're, we're looking at the long hand today first. So we said the long hand counts in fives. Let's count in fives. Five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, or 0. Okay, make sure you're joining in. Make sure I can hear you. Here we go. Are you ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, or 0. Now, what I'm going to do this time again, we're practicing our... Um, the quarters of the hour. So we've got uh, when the long hand gets to 12, when it gets to 3, when it gets to 6, when it gets to 9. We're going to say those together. Are you ready? We did this once before. So as soon as you get the idea, please join in. O'clock, quarter past, half past, a quarter to, o'clock, a quarter past, half past, a quarter to, o'clock. A quarter past, half past, a quarter to, o'clock. Right, I'm going to put the hour hand back on now. Right, so it's five o'clock. So uh, you're having your tea. You have your tea for half an hour. Half an hour. The, the long hand is going to go half the way around the clock. What time will it be after half an hour? Let's put this, 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 both these up here now. You can see the digital one as well. Okay, it's five o'clock. In half an hour's time, it will be... 5.30. Okay. 30 minutes past five. Now, it takes you half an hour to help with the washing up. Yeah, I know, I said washing up. Uh, it takes you half an hour to help with the washing up. What time will it be in half an hour's time? That's a really tricky one. We go half the way around the clock again. What time is that? Yeah, six o'clock. Okay, right. Now... Uh, you watch uh, the television uh, with your family for one hour. What time will it be after one hour? 
Yeah, seven o'clock. Okay, right. Uh, your family uh, all get ready for bed and put their pyjamas on. It takes them an hour, though, because there's a big queue for the bathroom. Uh, what time will it be in an hour's time? Yeah, eight o'clock. Okay, and you can go off to bed and um, uh, you read a story for half an hour. Half an hour after eight o'clock. What time is that? Yeah, 8.30, half past eight. Okay, well done, guys. Last job, last job. Okay, here we go. Right, so play your cards. Right, switching the numbers off. We've got 17. The numbers go from 1 to 20. Quite an easy set of numbers. So is it going to be... So if it's higher, shout higher. If it's lower, shout lower. Okay, I want to hear you. Okay, is it going to be higher or lower than 17? Yeah, 17 is about here. It's got to be lower. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go lower. Oh, no. That's so bad luck. Okay, well, easy now. Because 19's here, so it's got to be... Please be lower. Yes. Okay. Now, five. Think about where five is. Five's about here. What do you reckon? Higher or lower? Yes, I think higher too. Hmm, now, that's a tricky-ish one. 14. You've got to imagine where 14 would be. 10's here. 14's going to be about here. I think it's still probably I think it's a bit lower. Oh, that's good. Well done. Right now, ah, I got three. I got three. I've never got four before, so we're going for four. Uh, what do you reckon? Oh, that's, let me just show you. Look, that's so mean. Look, right in the middle. How are we going? Oh dear. What do you reckon? I'll go lower. Ooh. <laughs> I want a TV. What a fabulous prize. Okay, guys, thank you for your time today. Uh, you win as your prize. Uh, not an actual prize. You win a hat. And on that hat is a straw that comes down from your hat. And if you say um, uh, uh, fizzy pop, then it dispenses fizzy pop. If you say uh, milkshake, it gives you milkshake. And if you say uh, M&Ms, it gives you M&Ms. Lovely. Super job, guys. Uh, see you next time.